Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and I wanted to go over a question that I get all the time which is uh, people ask me what template I would recommend for their specific situation and so I'm going to be doing a few different videos and in this one I'm going to cover uh, what templates I would recommend for tracking sales and expenses because I have uh, several different options in several different versions within those options um, so I'm just gonna go over everything uh, pretty quick and uh, just to give you an idea of what worksheet is gonna work best for you um, I'll also plan on adding a specific video for each worksheet as well okay so to answer that question it's really gonna depend on first of all what venues you sell your items through what payment types you accept what your preference is as far as if you want to download and import your sales and fees or if you would rather manually enter your information and also it will depend on what you want to see in your summary so here are the main options we're gonna go through and uh, so yeah the two main options are really gonna be if you prefer to download everything at once which is really a big time saver and I'll get into that in the next sl slide but um, you can download an entire year of sold orders through Etsy or PayPal or Stripe and you can copy and paste that into the templates however there are some people who prefer not to deal with downloading and copy and pasting and they want to enter the information directly into the template as the sale occurs that's the second op main option um, so I have templates to cover both of those areas and then a few other options um, to mention are the overhead expenses tracking template um, the finished items inventory and sales and also a simple consignment worksheet so let's go ahead and get started going over that and okay so just want to go over really quickly this one will capture your sales and your fees and then this one involves entering each sale and the file though can be set up to calculate the fees so you're not going to have to calculate each fee you'll set up in the fee chart uh, your venue and the percentage they charge and it will calculate it when you when you enter the venue for each sale option one the monthly sales and expenses template this is really the fast track way to go to import all your sales and fees and you can import your Etsy sales your PayPal Amazon handmade and stripe sales if you have sales that happen outside of those areas you can manually add in other payment types um, you can also add your own expenses and there's a lot of expense categories that you can list here there's an expenses tab page so it really can be a comprehensive view of your profit it will calculate your total uh, profit your total sales minus your total expenses so it includes all the fees and all the overhead expenses and if you collect sales tax through any of these venues up here when you paste and import the CSV it will also add up your total sales tax collected so option two to go with the option where you enter each sale you could either use the more simple one at the top is the monthly sales or the sales and profit which goes a little bit more into the fees and expenses associated with each sale but both of these templates will track shipping cost the Etsy transaction fee when you enter Etsy as the venue it will automatically pull in the Etsy fee and the credit card processing and flat rate fees can be entered for up to about 10 to 12 different venues you can enter or payment types and then the summary will show total sales by month total sales per venue and total sales per product so if you're really wanting to drill down into those different areas then this will be really helpful now the sales and profit template does have some extra columns that the, the monthly sales doesn't 
Um, it will just have a column so you can add in the material cost for each item. So you're, you're seeing a true profit per item. So what did you spend on that item? And as well as the listing fee calculation, the summary page will show a little bit more as far as um, the total material cost, shipping cost, and profit. So here's just a view. This is, you know, the main difference in the summary. The, the monthly sales will just have uh, the total sales and items sold. These two charts stay the same. And in the sales and profit, we just have a few more columns for the fees material costs, shipping, and then your net profit after those. But again, the sales and profit, well, neither one of these are tracking uh, overhead, uh, more annual or monthly type expenses. It's just the expense per sale. And um, I also just wanted to mention that, okay, for option number one, uh, this one has the monthly multi-venue sales expenses. It's also available as an annual template. So um, here it has January expenses and then sales and then profit. And if you scroll to the right, there are um, there's a chart for you know February, March, April. Or if you just get the annual one, it will have just this one chart, nothing to the right, and these will be annual totals. And the monthly version does have annual totals at the end. It just has, you know, 12 different charts for each month and an annual total. There are several uh, versions you'll see in the listing where you can uh, select from there. And with tracking expenses, uh, this one at the top is going to have only the expense categories that are in the worksheet, which is about 12 to 14 expense categories that are common, you know, for handmade or product-based business. This one doesn't track overhead expenses. So that brings us to the overhead expenses tracking template. And this one is extremely flexible. You can add any of your own uh, up to 21 categories of your own. So if you have very unique categories that you're wanting to track the expenses, this may be a good option for you. Um, another option, if you want to track uh, your finished, your inventory and your sales in one file, and by inventory, I mean your finished product inventory, not your raw materials inventory. So, for example, this would be good if you want to track how many items you have at different boutiques or venues. It, it works the same with the fee chart. You can set up about 10 to 12 different uh, venues or boutiques or payment types, and it will calculate the amount that you set. In addition to the sales summary, that comes in the other one, it will also calculate the levels of inventory left at each particular venue. And also, if you sell through consignment, this is a simple consignment template. It's meant to be for uh, one consignment store at a time. Uh, so if you sell at multiple locations, you'd have to save a different file for each location. So, and it's not really an inventory tool, not for items that are continually restocked because it's one row per individual item. So if you're selling one of a kind items, then it, it would work really good for tracking the inventory of one of the kind. Okay, so there you have it. I hope that that helps you decide which template you want to get. But if you still want to further look at each individual template, I will be posting a video of each one separately, and, and that will go more in-depth in the actual spreadsheet. I know I went over each option really fast, and you didn't really get to see what the worksheet looks like, but I'll be adding more videos for that uh, next. One other thing that I uh, forgot to mention is that you can use both options. Actually, I use both of these templates, the multi-venue one at the top and the profit one at the bottom. And because one thing to consider is that in, in the top one, I know it's hard to see, but it will, it's going to break out the sales per CSV. So it will show, you know, total Etsy sales if you're copy and pasting the Etsy uh, CSV, total PayPal sales, total 
uh, Amazon sales and that's great but in the sales and profit template I can break that down even further if I'm manually entering each sale so I actually could add a venue for custom orders uh, for example I get people who pay for custom order through Etsy through my website through a PayPal invoice and so it's really hard for me to know what the total custom orders um, because it's broken out into all those different payment types so sometimes I'll use uh, the sales and profit for tracking that and so maybe I'll just put Etsy sales and I'll put the total sales of the month for Etsy and but then I'll also add in website and custom orders and it's not probably not as accurate because I don't keep on top of it as much as I should but I use this one more for my own information and this one I use definitely for my taxes every year so I just wanted you to also note that you know with this one you do have more flexibility for entering in different income streams and also you end up seeing like a summary of sales by product so that can also help a lot hope that helps you decide which templates you want to go with and if you're thinking that uh, you want to get a combination of templates I would recommend one of these packages I have a basic seller success package which includes um, it actually comes with option number one for tracking the sales and expenses but it also has inventory pricing cost of goods sold and a bunch of good templates you may be interested in and it has a good value because you're getting a discount for for getting um, a lot of the templates and even better than that is the package for all the best templates um, for your handmade business so those are all specific for a handmade business and we'll track uh, the raw materials inventory which I'll go into in the next video but if you're interested to find out more about either of those packages or the individual templates just head on over to timesavingtemplates.com. Thanks so much.